All right, guys, here is Boo Booey. Let's go right into some questions. Played a lot against Michigan State in your career, had a lot of career success. What would you say it is about the Spartans and playing against that type of program? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're they're one unbelievable program. Uh, you know, coached by an awesome, great coach, and you know, it's just a high level game when you're playing against Michigan State. And you know, like every other team in the conference, you know, it's conference play now, so every game is going to be a war and a battle. So, so it's just it's just exciting for conference play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there it's a long season. You know, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. You know. Uh, you know, whether you lose by a lot or you lose by one, a loss is a loss, just like a win is a win, and it's only one game and there's a long season, so you got to focus on, on, on what you got to do to get better. Uh, obviously, it hurts to lose, but you know, you got you to have a tough mindset and come in here and prepare to get ready to win the next one. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we're just we're just working every day in practice, you know, uh, hitting and, and blocking out. And, you know, the coaches are doing a good job of emphasizing, uh, you know, that we need to block out. But I think it's just a it's just a, a level of effort and focus that we have to uh, have. And it's, it's literally all focus, just making sure that when a shot goes up, you put a body on someone, and, you know, keep them from getting that offensive rebound. You guys went to Michigan State last year coming off another blowout loss against the Like, is there anything you guys are taking from that, whether it's like practice or mentally and prepping for this? Uh, I mean, like I said before, you know, I, I've been around for five years, so there's, it's just ups and downs all, all year, and every day is a new day, just like for everyone else. And so, you know, we, we just prepare and, and, and we try our hardest every day, so, you know, we're just going to come out and, and compete. Yeah, but, um, Coach, obviously, I mentioned how, like, the way your schedule is going to get, like, a Wednesday, Sunday, so you have, like, that kind of quick turnaround time to flush out losses. So yes, sir. Last year, you know, you had that loss to you, um, you had that loss just against Ohio State and you came back against Indiana. Right. Indiana. How do you kind of replicate that same energy now especially just for the next few weeks you have that day day off? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Coach said the best, you know, it's good that we play back to back, uh, back to back because, you know, each game is new and every day is new. So it's, whether you win or lose, you're flushing it out the next day and, and you're focusing on the next task at hand. So uh, there's no time to really, you know, get super high about a win or super down about a loss. You know, you kind of just want to stay even killed the whole entire time and, you know, focus on, like you say, you know, bouncing back and, and, and having an even bigger comeback than, you know, when things start going downhill. What are the coaches on the side so far? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be another physical game uh, like last one, and you know, we're going to have to keep them off the offense, uh, offensive glass, and you know, but I think we're, we're we're just going to have to focus on you know getting back to us and playing and guarding the way we can, and you know, just making it a team effort. Yeah, you know, uh, I think that, uh, you know, we're just going to keep practicing and working on our defensive schemes. And, and, you know, it's still early in the season, like I said, right now. So, you know, we're not we're not the best, uh, you know, most complete team that we, we, we want to be by March, obviously, which is which is OK. But, you know, we're, we're making strides every single day to, to to get to that perfection. Going up against Tyson and watching some of this, so what's impressed what's impressed you most? About yeah, I mean, he's a he's a, a high level scoring guard. Uh, Obviously, he's he's one of the leading scorers in the conference. Uh, uh, but you know, you know, like I said, there's a lot of good players in in this league and other players that I played against in the country. So you know, it's it's gonna just be a team focused uh, defense. Following up on that, like when you go from a really physical big team like Illinois to guarding some kind of shifting smaller like Tyson, like what are the challenges? And what's it like, kind of prepping and adjusting from somebody that's big like the mask to this like Walker Woods, like kind of where that. Yeah, so that that kind of just all goes into the scouting and tendencies. You know, obviously, if someone's a little bit faster, you don't want to be up pressure and as much uh, as you would someone who is a little bit taller and not as quick. Uh, but other than that, you know, the, the coaches will give us the scouting report and tell us how how they want us to, to guard them, and, and we'll have to go out there and execute that. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just being poised. Uh, we have older guys, and, you know, offense has, hasn't really been a huge, huge problem. Uh, you, there's definitely times we, where we struggle, but 
you know, uh, for the most part, we have guys who, who, who make shots and make the right play, and, and boys don't get sped up. So it's just about not being sped up and, and waiting and being patient, trying to get the best shot. All right. Any more questions? Thank you. Wrap us up. Thank you.